Hey everybody, I'm Griffin here, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last time we died as Judas, and then had a pretty decent run as Maggie, and so I will once again be playing as Judas in an attempt to reach Streak. Curse of the Blind, oh goody. Infestation 2 is actually very good, especially because Judas has really good damage. I would definitely like to get into that curse room, but obviously we'll die if we do it now. I'm not going to risk a streak on that. But yeah, when we kill things with our tears, we spawn a spider. If the spider kills things, we do not spawn a spider. That's okay, because spiders are really good. And we got some spiders from that, which surprises me a little bit, but whatever. So we're going for the win here, because we want to get this streak. See, I don't think Judas is a particularly hard character, it's just one bad room early on and you're dead. I don't even- I wouldn't even go so far as to say he's a difficult character, because I don't think he's a difficult character. Like, I just don't. I don't think he's a difficult character. I think he's a really balanced character. But, some of the rooms that you can run into early on, especially in hard mode, are just assholes. We're doing good on consumables. Yeah, our spiders are unfortunately going to be all spent in this room. This is a champion, by the way. If I get hit by it, I'm dead. This is actually really good for us, because these spiders do a bunch of damage, and we're going to spawn a whole bunch as we kill all the flies that are his familiars. Okay, it is an HP up and a tears down. Am I crazy enough to go into the curse room? Well, first off, I'm going to look at the shop. Is there a soul heart? There is, in fact, a soul heart. So I will risk it and pick up a soul heart, since I have exactly the right amount of money. Unfortunately, the door locked behind me. I got a key out of it. Okay, it could be worse. I would not have done it if there hadn't been a soul heart in the shop. I think that would have been what I decided. I could be wrong, but I'm not buying an item from the shop, even if I had found 10 cents, so. Like, I'm, I'm not buying an item I can't see from the shop. It could be baggy of pills, which would be very unfortunate, unless we have an amazing pill rotation, which is generally unlikely. Or if we find PhD later, which is also generally unlikely. Uh, we'll not be going into the curse room right away. See, now one of the benefits is we can go into this boss room. I am not going to open this just yet. Let's see what's in here, though is just a single chest, which makes me lean against actually doing it, because a single chest is not that great, and we're going to be fighting two bosses to do it. Okay, we have a Tinted Rock, we just need a bomb. I'm not picking that up. I believe Metronome is a use item, so unless I suddenly have an excess of bombs, which, considering that that Tinted Rock is what I'm eyeing... That's unfortunate, that's very unfortunate. That is not a key I wanted to spend. We need a bomb. We already have Soul Heart Protection, but it never hurts to have more. Never hurts to have more. Actually, I'm sure I can find a situation in which it does. That was very close. That guy made a jump I was not expecting. Okay, due to the fact that we have a double room in front of us, and it is probably not the last room, that was a charged key. I'm an idiot. Ah! I was just talking about how I was going to go back here and use it. And actually, no, I'll get my charge back because of the two waves and the big room. Okay, two bombs and a bunch of money actually makes this super worth it. I believe it's Monstro and Larry Jr. is the bosses that we will be fighting here. It's always the same, I think. I don't do these enough to know off the top of my head. 
Okay, we got a bunch of bombs. Which means it is now more likely that we find the secret room and the top secret room. But we are also... I'm, I just want to check and see. Okay, that is totally an option. Yeah, both are viable. And due to that, we're going to find it, I think. Cool. Oh, gosh. I was about to say, cool, we traded it for three coins, but we traded it for three coins and two luck up. I will take two bombs for that. That is good. It's really good. We are going to be entering the shop on this floor for a multitude of reasons, but primarily because we have 15 cents. Okay, tarot card is super tempting. It's two of hearts, which will double our hearts. We took damage there, but it also blew up a tinted rock for us, so I will let bygones be bygones. Do I want to see the shop first? I don't think it matters. I just can't use the Book of Belial on... Oh, whoopsie. I do not want to miss that. I just can't use the Book of Belial in this room if I want it for the boss fight. Gosh darn it. It's like his, are you kidding me? Holy crap, I know those guys can slide, but I hate it every time they do. Okay, that, I'd be in, I'd be in significantly better situation. I will take the treasure map and I will take a soul heart because I am Judas. I'm not going to blow up the shopkeeper because I only have one bomb and because I very much, very much would like to keep it and I have a 100% devil room chance, so. Okay, you only do two. I thought it was only two, but... See that dingle, or that dip, sorry, it's a dip. This is dingle. That dip turns into a spider every time. Uh, I do want three just in case there is a two heart deal and a one heart deal. Or if, no, never mind, I wanted to keep it the way it was. That's okay, I'm taking Eye of Belial. It's amazing. We saw its power last run, we're going to see its power again this run. I'm still running a little low on hearts. But I did take the soul heart from the shop for a reason. That's right, I can't see anything. Because I took an amnesia pill. As I'm ought to do, and I can't remember what it was. Okay, so the boss is probably this way. I absolutely hate these spiders. Because I cannot dodge triple shots. I mean, I can. I'm just not great at it. I can dodge single triple shots. It's when there's more than one triple shot coming at my face that I do poorly. Okay, I got a challenge room. For a second, it looked bugged. I mean, yes. There was nothing I could do about that one. I jammed myself into a corner, and I thought I'd be okay, but it lasted for a super long time. Thank you, Super Troll Bomb. Turned out to be very not worth it unless we... Oh my gosh! That was bad. I should not have gotten hit by that. I didn't think I was going to get hit by it either. Cut it too close. Okay, maybe it was worth it. I'm using my only bomb here because it is two chests. The wooden cross gives you a um, shoot. It is a holy mantle effect. It gives you a holy mantle effect. Oh my. 
Well, we see if we get the devil deal. Otherwise, we take... Chaos. I am surprised I avoided that. I'm gonna be honest. There's a tinted rock. Uh, this is Champion Pestilence, so he shoots like that instead of arced shots, which means we will be just fine. We did not get a Devil Deal. We did get an Orbital, which is always nice. I do want to pick up Chaos before... I do want to pick it up before I go to the item room, because uh, chant, uh, I can't avoid this, can I? No, I can't. Because the chance of getting something better that or that is not an item room item is always nice. And the item room items are good, but they're very um, inconsistent. Is the word I want to go for? Or it's not the word I want to go for, but it's the word that's coming to me. Reliable? I don't know. They're not particularly good. They're hit and miss. They're very spiky. Uh, prone to variance. Oh, that's a tiny one of those things. Tiny human popcorn! What's fun is that uh, our friend Stony there counts as an enemy for the uh, Tears of Belial. I need bombs. Like, there are two tinted rocks. There are two tinted rocks I cannot get at because there are no bombs. I forget if there is bombs in the shop. I'm gonna go with probably not. But we're getting a bunch of enemies that are bombs and a bunch of troll bomb drops, so there's that. That's good. It makes me not want to use the Book of Belial, though. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. The other one is is a reward for getting hit, so... Oh, that was my controller turning off, sorry. There was no avoiding that, I just want that to be- Oh my god! No! No! If I had just cleared, if I had gotten to it first, I would have gotten all the bombs I needed. You're kidding me. Game, go die. Alright, so I have no bombs, no way of getting bombs. I'm not walking into that curse room. Son of a bitch. There's a level of asshole, and this game knows exactly where to hit it. Like, oh, it's not my fault, but if you had done it this way... Fuck off, game. Look at that, two bombs. Unfortunately, bombs are no longer, like, a rare resource for me. Oh, wow, I didn't know you got stuff from them. Well, shop, here I come. I'm going to avoid side rooms as much as I can. See? See? This is what I'm talking about. Watch there, and I'm not joking here, watch there not be a single tinted rock. You you think I'm joking. Watch there not be a single tinted rock on this floor. If I'm right... God damn it. If I'm right... I'm gonna be saying I told you so. I shouldn't have gone to the end room. I knew it wasn't anything important. I need Dark Bum. That's what I want. If I get Dark Bum, I think I'm probably good. We do have a pretty decent chance here. We've blown up shot. See? Come on! With the bombs! I found four bombs, and they weren't even from the bomb bag, I think. I think one of them might have been, but that's it. 
like tops. I actually want to barrage this guy from over here because I want the extra spiders. That one was from the bomb bag. If the spiders can't get to him, they can't kill him. Because killing him with tears is the only thing that gives them. Actually, I think if you ki kill him with bombs, up, up, apparently works. So. I'm not quite sure how that worked, but I'm okay with it. Oh, that's right, because the spider spawned on the... No, that doesn't make... Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. See, so the spider spawned on the wall, because that's where it died. See, Tammy's head is good, but it's not good enough. Book of Belial. Oh, I totally forgot the Book of Belial gives an increased Devil Deal chance. Totally forgot about that. Okay, it's another lock up. We're really lucky. I still haven't seen a tinted rock, though. Oh, gosh darn it, that was not a friendly spider. That was my fault. We're totally good on consumables now. And that's why I'm going to be picking up Contract from below. I totally forget about Pandora's box, though. What is it on this floor? Half off, because I should have blown that up first. Okay. See, this is when the game says, I'm sorry, you're right, I was a dick. Two of clubs is bombs. I don't want the, the hearts, so. That's another amnesia pill, by the way. I feel like pointing that out. That is another amnesia pill. What the hell? I guess it's the golden chest pool has something else silly in it. Because I have so many more keys than bombs and I'm going to have many more. Oh! Okay, it's retrovision. That's not actually any better. All right. I can't see tinted rocks even if they existed. But I'm still so far correct that there are no tinted rocks. None. Alright, because I have the soul hearts. Wow. I have piercing tears, there's nothing I can do. Oh, oh that's right, I have the light bulb. Wait, I think that might be a tinted rock. I am not in a good spot. Nope, not a tinted rock. That is two amnesia pills. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think I have seen six amnesia pills thus far this run. I'm really, really tempted to just have a counter on the amnesia pills. Hey, yeah, that was that triple shot. Yep, no tinted rocks. Unless there's one in the boss fight, that is still technically a possibility. If I hadn't acknowledged that fact, the game would have put one in there. But since I realized that that was a possibility, it now has decided that it will never do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the two of clubs here because I'm going to start looking for the secret room. Okay, it cannot be either of those. So it's probably between the curse room and the item room, which means I didn't have... No? Okay. That makes me feel better. This is the most likely spot for it. Another lockup. We're doing well. Thank you, Cube of Meat. I totally botched that one up. I did not read the the hit right. Yes. 
I did not get hit there again. Thank you, Orbital. Yeah, it's the bean. So we have all the bombs in the world, and we have seen zero tinted rocks. Count them. Zero. Alright, Necropolis, one. I should not have come into this room. I don't quite know how that one worked. I think it's trailing creep in the air when it's moving. Jesus! That was pretty insane if you ask me. Okay. Nice. Definitely saves us some trouble. Okay, once again. Okay, so the orbital's been an MVP, like, to a ridiculous degree here. What the hell was in this room? Seriously. Okay, more than one of those is the answer to the question. What the hell? This room had to be packed to the frickin' brim with enemies. Like, absolutely 100% packed to a degree that is honestly astounding. Okay, Bloody Penny is not what I was going for. Crap. Never mind, it's just these. You gotta stay on this level with. Oh, damn it, there goes my Devil Deal chance. Although I have Chaos. Ah! I was about to say, you gotta stay away from that, because they explode like that. Oh gosh, I did not notice that troll bomb right away. I do not want the left hand. It's not useful to me. Of course I forget about brimstone spiders. There's always that moment where I realize that there are brimstone spiders in existence and they are currently on the run. Like, there is that moment and it's usually as I'm getting hit by a brimstone spider. Alright, we have enough bombs that I will do this. As long as you stay perfectly in the middle of the room, you can hit both of them. If you move, like, at all, it's still possible to get back there, but it's really hard to get back there reliably. Help. Fuck you, game. Alright, so there's a health down pill. Cannot get there. That is a troll room. Okay, so I'd like some things I could blow up these, the skulls. That is an option. Oh my gosh. I might just die. That might just happen. Oh my gosh, I'm in such an idiot. I was once again looking for the shop. Holy crap, bombs. Looking for the shop, and of course, I'm just wandering. I'm just full clearing the floor at this point, is basically what I'm doing. It's like no reason not to at this point. I need restock and a soul heart. That's all I want, actually. It's unlikely because shop items, but. Smelter, huh? Well, I mean. 
I'll go ahead and smelt that onto me. But unless I find something of particular value. Okay, see here I can bomb like four skulls at once, so I'm gonna do it. Ancient Recall is draw three cards. It's a Magic the Gathering card. I don't play Magic, but I know that. The question is where do I want to draw three cards? Delirium's really good. He just becomes different familiars. Which is really nice. This is Necropolis 1. Okay, so there's another shop. Pretty flies good. Okay, I think we Ancient Recall here. Let me take I Can See Forever because I'm not bringing... I'm... Unless I get Guppies... Would I... If I... If I get Guppies, or Dead Cat, I will consider it. This is unfortunate. I don't want another Orbital. I'm putting out the fires because they're going to get me. He is strategically putting out, opening up the fires. I have Piercing Tears, so if he does that attack enough, I will eventually be gotten. Now, luckily, I am fast enough. Oh my god, Incubus! Go! Go, Incubus! Oh, you were supposed to stay as Incubus, but that works too. Alright, double deal. Thank you. Um, this is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Book of Belial is better for me right now, I think. Um, is it? Is it? I have seven damage right now without the Book of Belial. I think Guppy's head might actually be better. It means that my... Um, it means that the thing I smelted onto myself is basically useless. But I think this is what I want. I think this is what I want. It's just, it's a lot of damage output. So if you fight most of the room... Yeah, see, this room is not worth... Yeah, I guess when he becomes Bob's brain, it gets bad. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, you're going to see my stats just jumping around all over the place from now on, basically. So after I clear this room, I'm going to go back into that room and bomb both of those fires. But just like with the blue fires, you want to be right in the middle of them. It only saves one bomb, but it's kind of a why not sort of thing. You might as well save the bomb. There's no reason not to. It just takes clearing a different room first. Oh, I'm glad that got undone. Alright, I totally forgot to use this. Okay, that's really good. I'm gonna take that. It's good. I will admit that I have not been paying. This is going to be greed. Oh no, it's one of these shops. That's a beautiful. I see you. Yeah, I knew you were a mimic. Oh, by the way, these are both luck ups, so, you know, there's that. So, for seven cents, I buy this and this. Um, yes. I'm actually, it's two cents. I'm not, I'm not dumb. 
I'm looking for Guppy Piece. At this point, it's Guppy Piece or Bust. Guppy Piece or Bust. This is three cents. No, I have the mind. I don't need it. Durr. Hello, brain. Okay. Um, We got a whole bunch of money out of that for no freaking reason. Uh, we might as well buy this. Might as well touch it. Might as well get this. We get a black heart for it and four bombs. Okay. Well, this is obscene. Surprise, that did not hurt me. Okay. Fan freaking tastic. Go to the boss. Go to okay, well we can get to the curse room. Why are there did I just totally forget to pick up bombs? Did I just like run straight through? That's something I would do, so I assume so. Yep, okay, we got full orbitals, which is very nice. I mean, I can't go back. Oh no. Well, fuck it. I'll let you pay out once. You take way too many keys to pay out. Holy hell, Batman. I mean, you know, HP up 1.5, damage multiplier. I really need Spectral Tears. That's what I need right now, and then it will be complete. I mean, yeah, we can play stupid games. Alright, we haven't seen very many am uh, amnesia pills. Oh, that's fun. We haven't seen very many amnesia pills since Sec that 4, so... I will uh, stop passing judgment on the game, but I will point out that uh, the number of tinted rocks has still been egregiously low. Just pointing it out. Do with it what you think. But I'm just pointing that out. Having the mind just means that the rest of this is going to go smoothly. I need to drop this. So the strength card is basically like you picking up an, a magic mush. So it's really only going to be useful for trading and things for deals with the devil. Which is unlikely to happen or be useful for a combination of reasons. Partially because we only have a 40% chance. These are useless to us. That was odd. Yeah, partially because of that. Also partially because we picked up chaos. So who knows what the hell is going to be in this shit. I'm dumb. Let's do it. I'm just mashing, by the way. I'm basically creating a beam of death in front of me. It's actually rather entertaining. Oh, that's right. I can't pick that up. Wait, did I? Yes, okay. I did have the, the eternal heart because I now have three hearts. I'm silly. Well, there's only so many useful things. For a second, I thought that was a tinted rock, but I was wrong. I think that dropped from an enemy. You know what? I'm actually totally okay with this worm trinket. Yes. 
Oh yeah, that totally crushed your soul. The chance of this being worth it is very slim, but... I mean, two hearts for 49 cents. I've made worse trades. Actually, I don't know if I... Yeah, I mean, I've obviously made worse trades. Because I've traded things for nothing, so... Pretty sure by definition I've made worse trades. Technically worth? The best kind of worth? As long as I don't get hit. That's a shame, because that means if there was a shop on this floor, it would be greed-free. Yeah, I'm not taking a retrovision pill by choice. Who do you think I am? I need to remember to use this. Well, this is friendly fun. Good, clean, friendly family fun. I can get myself down. Speed up, size down. Okay, addicted makes you take double damage. I do not want to do that. Is there half a red heart around? So, never mind. Now I can just frivolously trade HP to the deal with the devil, even if it's for something stupid. Strength card is more useful. Gotcha. Are you kidding me? I mean, the answer is yes, I'm doing this because I want to not have red hearts, basically. There is a health down pill, I realize. Okay, the curse of the maze pill is all white. Freaking hate that question marks pill. And I also hate the way they s the, the, the guy says it, so he did a perfect job. He did a perfect job of being a perfect asshole. We have a library. Which is good for us. The library is really good for us because, actually, yeah, I think the library still has books. I don't think that gets, oh, synth oil. Damage and range. Everything a growing Judas needs. I am not guppy, I just have a shit ton of flies. Why do I have so many flies? Oh, that's right, because everything's dying to me and not my flies. Meet my beam of death. Is it not glorious? Increases my devil room chance and skips me two rooms. Darn. Two of diamonds. I don't know, forty percent chance. It I can't have more pretty flies. It'd be nice if I could, but... Okay. We're taking Locust of Death. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. But having that black fly... Mmm. Delicious. And that's that. Do I do it? 
And do I do it? Do I skip two levels and just go to the void? Do I think I can take Delirium? I think I can. I have the mind, so I can bum rush straight to stuff. And we either find Delirium or we don't. Oh, I'm an idiot. However, I managed to avoid that, so... I really want to just leave that up. Obviously, I don't actually, but... Oh. Still looking for Tinted Rocks. Crap ton of money. That's just the sensor. I honestly don't remember what it does. I think it just deals damage to stuff that's in that radius. It's hard to tell because I have a murderation machine that surrounds me. Okay, this is fun. That's actually a really fun room. I like that. And there's a tinted rock! Tinted rock! Yay! Didn't even know those were real. I thought they were a myth. Nope. Ice go X. You wanna get wrecked? You're not. You almost got me. That's right, you're vulnerable when your head pops up. But it's your tail that pops through that is vulnerable when you're. You're weird, Skull X. We are now Guppy! Woohoo! I'm Guppy, hear me roar! Flight, flies, death. We have a shit ton of luck, by the way. Like, this is the most luck I think I've gotten on a non-breaking run. Eight is pretty darn high. Chocolate milk is making this a little bit tedious. Oh, also, we have mom's key. I forgot to mention that. We, we picked it up. It makes all golden chests better. Ah, uh, we didn't one cycle him. Oh, dear sweet Christ, I could. I actually don't know. Okay, well. I should have opened that chest first. Guppy's paw is amazing, by the way. We now have Polaroid invincibility every single time we get hit. Which. As I said, is amazing. Any single one of these fights could be delirium, so. One, two, three, four. I messed that up. That is my fault. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Step on me! I'll take the money, jerk. No, I'll take the pretty little crown. Okay, this is the best headwear I think I've ever had. I have the black candle in the center, the fez on one side, and the crown on the other. That's amazing. Like, I could forget me now, but eh. I'm clearly not dedicated enough to the bit. Wow! I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the chances are. Oh dear Christ. Be a black market? Nope. But it's a gimpy. 
I'll take you, Gimpy. Every single time you get hit, you have a chance to spawn a black heart. And also, enemies have a higher chance, or have a, a chance to drop uh, half red hearts. That one's Delirium, up there at the top. Speed balls, speed and shot speed. We're already at max speed, so it's just really shot speed. Which isn't the worst thing ever. It's not amazing, but... I'm pretty sure the, uh... Another lockup. I really, really hope we get, uh, tough love. Because I'd love tooth shot. Oh. Well, I was wrong. Found delirium. The highest DPS is about this, so... Now, I don't will use the strength card until the, my last hit. If I am going to take damage like that. Because otherwise we lose our Polaroid invincibility. You know you want to be a succubus, little delirium. Is this is this suicide or is this murder when you've got little delirium? Oh, there's Gimpy doing stuff. It's actually a little dangerous with conquest being the thing. Well, that's Headless Horseman. You do not want to be that. Also, we've got the Succubus now, so... Next time he gets close, he's going to get butchered with flies, so... What? Uh, what you going to do? What you going to do? What you gonna do? I just put all my flies into him, so... It is only a matter of time. Yeah! Well, we took a couple good hits there. But that is victory with Judas. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time, but until then... Keep your ears turning.